We've gone over relations and functions. Relations are sets of ordered pairs. Functions are relations in which every element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. So the big idea is that with a function for every x, there is only one y. So for a function for every x, there is only one y. A function is one to one if each element of the domain pairs to exactly one element of the range. And then the difference in um, one to one and on to has to do with the range. So hopefully what you can notice here is this graph is not on to because there is an element in that range that does not have a pairing to the domain. So this C makes this not onto. Whereas in the last example, it's both one to one and onto because for every X, there is only one Y and for every Y, there is only one X. And every Y has an X. This is not one-to-one -one because two x's go to the same y. So going down to the practice problems, it says state the domain and range. So remember the domain are the x values. We never list a duplicated domain value in our domains. So even though point 0.4 is in the domain twice, I don't list it twice. And this is not a function because I have two x's repeated. If it's not a function, it's not one to one or on to. Okay, number two. My domain is negative five, four, three, and negative seven. My range is two, negative two, and negative 11. Now, this is a function because for every x, there is only one y. It, however, is not one to one because negative five and negative seven both map to two. So this is a function and it is on two. Flipping that over. So again, the areas I think that give us the most trouble were tables. So I want to just review finding the average rate of change of a table. Remember, rate of change is change in y over change in x. So the y is the change in a quantity. The x is always the change in a time. So in this case, it says find the average rate of change for the data in the table. The y value is going to be the elevation. And the time is our x. Because it's a change in quantity over a change in time. 
time will always be your denominator, regardless of how a table is set up. And then if your time is in AM or PM, you have to make sure you change it to 24 hour time periods. So for example, in number one, since it's all in the 7 p.m. zone, it won't be a big deal. It says find the rate of change for each set of data. So you're going to pick any two points on that table. It doesn't matter what two you pick. So maybe I pick this point and that point. And I picked them purposely just because there was a 15 minute time change from 7.15 to 7.30. So I picked the one in which the change of time would be easiest to calculate. So it would be 101 minus 26 over 7.30 minus 7.15. So that's a change of 75 people in 30 minutes. Which reduces to five people in two minutes. Yes. So it should be 15. Thank you. I can't speak and write. So it's five people per minute. Okay, and then number two, we have the altitude of a balloon in time. So again, you could pick any two times. Maybe I pick the second and the fourth. I could pick the first and the third. It really doesn't matter. So, and again, it doesn't matter if you do the first one minus the second one or the second minus the first. As long as the order matches in the top and the bottom. So you would have 2200 zero, zero, minus 1220 two, over 15 minus 8. As just one example, you could have also done 520 minus 1640 over 3 minus 11. Again, you just have to be consistent in the order you write them. And how you type it on a calculator. So we get 140 meters per minute. And units matter. So here, if you did that on your calculator, just so you could see how it's typed, you would want to do parentheses, 520 minus 1640, close parentheses, divided by 3 minus 11. So your top's in parentheses, your bottom is in parentheses, and once again, I get 140. Any questions on that? Okay, so you have the remaining 16 minutes. You have to do the rest of this page, the rest of that page, and then the skills practice front and back. I will gladly help you with any questions, any comments, or concerns you have.